out of the word of the Lord on today in Jesus mighty name. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and beginning at verse number five, the Bible says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Today, we'd like to talk to you, my friends, about how are you looking at yourself? How are you looking at yourself? Today, my friends, we want to cast down the imaginations that the enemy has planted within our mind and within our life that we cannot succeed or excel in this particular world. My friend, the enemy has come against the lives of multiple thousands of people and told them that you cannot succeed, you cannot make it, you cannot achieve, you cannot have success, you cannot be anything in this world. But we have come today to change that and to tell you that you can succeed, you can achieve, and you can be all that God has desired for you to be. The Bible states in the, in the word of the Lord in Genesis, go with me to Genesis 1 and 27. The Bible says that God created man in his own image. And in the likeness of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God made man to have dominion over the earth. And to have power over the works of the devil. It's the enemy, my friend, that has planted the seed within the lives of people to tell them that you cannot succeed. And you cannot achieve and that you can not have. But my friend, tell the devil in the name of Jesus, by the will of God, turn it around and look the devil square in the eye and tell the devil, I can succeed and I can achieve. My friend, you can achieve the ultimate blessings in your life and you can be everything that God has desired and planned for your life to be. You can be the greatest. You can be the best. I'm not saying that, that in a boastful way, but I'm saying that in a way, my friends, that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve in this world that is in the plan of God for your life. You can become a successful architecture. Yes, you can. You can become a successful architecture and you can be saved and full of the spirit of God. You can be a great neurosurgeon and you can be saved at, at the same, <coughs> excuse me, at the same time. Hallelujah. You can become a great doctor and you can be saved at the same time. You can become a great preacher if that's your desire and you can be saved at the same time. You can become a great husband or a great wife and you can be saved at the same time. My friend, God created man in his own image. And my friends, I'm here to tell you that in the image of God, God's image of us is success in our lives. God's image of us is blessings our lives. See, my friend, it's time to cast down every imagination and every wicked thought and every wicked deed and every wicked act that someone has told you and even those things that you have even told yourself how you see yourself in this world is how 
people will see you. Mm -hmm. If you see yourself as being nothing, if you see yourself as not being anything, if you keep telling yourself, I'm never going to amount to anything, I'm never going to make it, huh? I'm never coming out of this situation, huh? I'm never going to be a success, huh? I'm never going to achieve, huh? my friend, everything that you are telling yourself that you can't not do, the word of God says huh, that I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens my life. The Bible states in Genesis 1 and 27, my friend, huh, that God created man in his own image. Huh, and the image of God, my friend, is the image of success, huh, is the image of blessings, huh, is the image of walking out in victory huh, and in authority huh, over the works of of the devil in Jesus' name. So you got to begin to cast down that imagination and down huh, that high thought huh, that exalted huh, itself, that had exalted huh, itself against the knowledge of God. Huh. My friend, you have to begin to achieve within yourself huh, mm -hmm, huh, that I am what God says I am. Huh. See, there are those, my friend, huh, out there huh, that have cursed your life and said to you huh, that you was never going to amount to anything. Huh? But I'm here to reverse that. Huh? I'm here to change that. Huh? And the Bible says, huh, casting down the imagination huh, and every half thing huh, that will exalt itself huh, against the knowledge of God huh, and bring into captivity activity every thought huh, to the obedience of Christ. Huh? See, in the obedience of Christ, my friends, huh, you can walk in victory. Huh? You can walk in the power of God. Huh? You can walk in the authority of God. Hallelujah. Huh? Because huh, the Bible says huh, you were made a little lower than the angels. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? And that word imagination huh, can be broken down this way. Imagine a nation. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You can bless the nation huh, with what God huh, has given in this life. Huh? You can bless a nation huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh? You can bless the nation. Glory be to God. Huh? You can be a blessing to the world huh? is what God is saying unto you today. Huh? You can bless a nation. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You can bless a world. Huh? Hallelujah. My friend, there are blessings huh, deep down embedded huh, and in stored huh, within your life on today. Huh? Turn that thing around, huh? that imagination. Huh? Turn it around, huh? what the devil said for bad. Huh? The Bible says that God huh, will begin to turn it around for your good. Huh? Look here in the word of God, my friend. The Bible says huh, that we are 2 Corinthians chapter 10, huh, verse 5, huh, cast down huh, imagination. Huh. See, we focus on the word huh, mm -hmm, huh, that we are not going to be anything. Huh. My friend, huh, turn that around huh, in the name of Jesus huh, and begin to say, I am the blessed huh, of the Lord. Huh. I am blessed of the Lord going in. I am blessed of the Lord huh, coming out. Huh? I am the head huh, and not the tail. Huh? I'm going over and not under. Uh, begin to tell yourself. Huh? Begin to speak to yourself. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? See, everything negative huh, that we've spoken to ourselves. Huh? I can't achieve this. Huh? I cannot achieve that. Huh? I cannot do this. Huh? My friend, all those things that we've said to ourselves huh, is the things that the enemy huh, has blocked our minds with. Huh? And you can achieve huh, what God huh, has for you in this world huh, in the name of our Lord huh, and our our Savior, Jesus Christ. My friend, we read, we read earlier in the Bible where the Word of God says to cast down her imaginations. We've got to cast it down in Jesus' name. Every negative thought that the enemy has planted within your life, the Bible says, huh, the word of God says huh, that we can cast it down huh, in Jesus' mighty name. Huh? We can cast down huh, the negative thinking, huh, the negative thoughts huh, that are coming against our lives. Huh? We can cast it down huh, in Jesus' mighty name. Huh? And we can begin to rebuke huh, the hand of the enemy. Huh? Because, my friend, I'm telling you huh, that the devil... Huh, 
and he's the father of every lie. There's no thing in our lives that can, there's only one thing that can stop us from becoming what God will have us to be. And that one thing that's stopping us is us or it is me. Me, myself, and I am, am stopping me from becoming what God would desire or plan for me to be. Because, see, when you begin to think negative about yourself, when you begin to see some folk spoke so many negative things in your life, you begin to believe them. You begin to believe what the enemy ha has said about your life. Ha you begin to believe ha what the devil ha has spoken ha into your life. Ha you, you, you begin to believe ha so much of the negative things ha that the enemy ha has spoken into your life ha that when somebody comes along ha and speaks blessings into your life ha and begin to tell you ha to turn that thing around huh, in Jesus' name. Huh? You see, some folks said that huh, your father was an alcoholic. Huh? That means huh, that you have to be an alcoholic. Huh? But my friend, that is not true. Huh? That's the work of the enemy. Huh? Some people said huh, your father was a drug addict. Huh? That means that uh, you have to be a drug addict too. Huh? But my friend, huh, that is just not true. Huh? That's the work of the enemy. Huh? That's a lie from the devil. Huh? Some people have planted into your your mind. Your father was a whoremonger. So that means you have to be a whoremonger too. But my friend, that's the work of the devil. That's not true. Some people say that your mother was no good. So that means that I'm going to be no good too. But my friend, that's the lie that the enemy has planted within your mind. Some people say that you can't grow. Some people said that your mind can't think. Some people said that you're slow. Some people said that you are not going to achieve, that you would never amount to anything. But the word of God did not say that. The word of God said said to cast that imagination, cast that thing down. The word of God says, get it out of your mind. Get that negative thinking out of your mind that you cannot achieve. Get that negative thought out of your mind. I can never amount to anything. I can never make anything out of myself. Get that out of your mind and begin to tell the devil in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak blessings over your life. Begin to speak the power of God over your life. Begin to speak wealth over your life. Begin to tell the devil that I I am the head huh, and not the tail. Begin to tell the devil huh, that I'm going over and not under. In the word of God, my friends, huh, we see here in God's word how God taught the people about the blessings of the Lord. The Bible says that we are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. Huh? We are blessed in our baskets huh, because of the blessings of God that has overtook our lives. The Bible says that God created man in his own image. And my friend, the Bible says that God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Yes, he does. He owns a cattle on the thousand hill. He owns cattle, my friend, huh, and cattle is wealth. Huh? Cattle means wealth. It means blessings. It means you have. It means you can achieve. It means that you are not broke. It means that you have resources. It means that you have something to deal with. Glory be to God. My friend, the enemy wants you to believe that you are nothing. The enemy wants you to believe that you cannot achieve. The enemy wants you to believe that you cannot have. But everything that the devil says that you cannot have, God says that you are entitled to every blessing that God has spoken into your life mm -hmm. huh. along with self 
confidence, my friend, and looking at yourself huh, in a believable way. Huh? And you can believe in yourself huh, because God is on the inside of you. Huh? See, there's something on the inside of you huh, called the Holy Ghost. Huh? And with the Holy Ghost down embedded on the inside of you, huh, you can become whatever God has desired for you to be. Uh, there are those uh, that are eloquent in singing, uh, but yet the enemy uh, has planted within their minds. Uh, my friend, the enemy uh, has planted within their minds uh, that your singing uh, is not worth anything. Mm -hmm. uh, there are those today that are eloquent in reading. And the enemy has planted within their minds that your reading ability is not going to be a blessing to society. There are those, my friends, that are able to write books. They are able to write books, my friends, but the enemy has planted within their minds that their book writing is not going to be worth anything. Huh? But in Jesus' mighty name, huh? we've got to reverse that. Huh? We've got to change that. Huh? you got to begin, see my friend, huh? you got to begin to speak blessings huh? over your mind. Hallelujah. Huh? you got to begin to speak the blessings of God huh? over your mind. Huh? See my friend, in today's society, huh? Huh? we've got to begin to speak the blessings of God huh? in our lives on today. Huh? And we got to begin to tell ourselves, huh? you got to see, you got to tell yourself huh? that I am the best of the best of the best. Huh? I am able to achieve the best of the best of the best huh? as to what God has for my life. Huh? You got to begin to imagine, not thinking crazy, not thinking crazy, my friend. No, uh, -uh huh? but thinking in a way where God is saying to you huh, that you can achieve the best huh, of the best of the best in these last and in these evil days. Huh? How you imagine yourself, huh? how you look at yourself, uh huh, is what God is asking you today. How do you look at yourself? Do you look at yourself as to, as being a blessing? Huh? Do you look at yourself as I can achieve whatever God has desired for me to achieve within my life? My friend, when you begin to speak blessings over your life, huh, and when you begin to tell the devil in the name of Jesus huh, that I am going to succeed, huh? I am going to be the best of the best in whatever God has given unto my hands to do. See, my friend, God has put within your hands great musical talent. Mm -hmm. He has put it within your hand. But in your mind, in the inside of your mind, in your mind, the devil keeps telling you, you cannot achieve. You cannot be a blessing. But you got to begin to rebuke the devil huh? and tell the devil get out of here huh? mm -hmm, huh? I'm no longer huh, going to receive huh, what you are telling me huh? I'm no longer going to receive huh, the way you are telling me huh? mm -hmm, huh? you got to begin to cast down every imagination, every hard thing huh, that exalted itself huh, against the knowledge of God and begin huh, to bring into captivity every thought huh, to the obedience of Christ. Huh? The Bible says, huh, the word of God says huh, that I can achieve huh, the ultimate success huh, within my life. Huh? I can achieve, huh, amen, the success within my life. I can achieve it within my life. Huh? Along with self-confidence, my friend, huh, about yourself, huh, you can achieve the greatness of God in these last and in these evil days. But how do you imagine yourself to be? What are you saying about yourself? See, there are some folk that the enemy has planted down within them. It, this, see, some of this stuff comes down from generations unto generations. When the people say your daddy wasn't nothing and your mama wasn't nothing. And that means that that's supposed to be passed down to you. But my friend, in the name of Jesus, you got to rebuke that. And you got to tell the devil, my mama may have been that. Huh? My daddy huh? may have been that. Huh? But that does not mean huh, that that's going to happen to me. Huh? Mm -hmm, huh? You see, the enemy 
plant the thought within your mind and see years and months and days and weeks and hours and seconds and minutes. We think on those things. But the Bible says, think on these things, things that are honest, things that are just, things that are of a good report. You have to have a good report about yourself. The Bible says when sometimes when folk go to the doctor and the doctor gives them a bad report about their life, uh-huh, and they begin to think on that thing. They begin to cultivate that thing. It began, it began, they begin to cultivate it with <laughs> within their mind huh? and they begin to think about it huh? day in huh? and day out huh? oh my leg is messed up huh? or oh, my arm is not working right huh? or oh, my heart huh? ain't working right huh? this is what the doctor told me huh? mm -hmm, huh? but my friend you gotta begin to tell yourself huh? that the bible says huh? that my leg is healed huh? according to the word of god huh? My arm huh, is healed huh, according to the word of God. Huh. My heart huh, is in the best condition huh, that has ever been in my life. Huh. You got to begin to turn huh, that thing around. Huh. Every thought, huh, every imagination, huh, everything that someone huh, has spoken into your life huh, that's negative. Huh. You got to begin to turn it around huh, according to the word of almighty God. Huh. And you got to begin to believe in yourself. Huh. You got to to make yourself huh, out of a believer. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You got to believe huh, in who you are. Huh? You got to be the one huh, to believe huh, that you are the best of the best of the best huh? and you can achieve huh, the ultimate uh, blessings uh, within your life. Uh, how do you look at yourself? Uh, how are you seeing yourself? Uh, do you see yourself uh, as a, a success? Uh, do you see yourself uh, finishing in college? Uh, do you see yourself uh, becoming a blessing uh, to this particular world? Uh, my friend, uh, it also uh, starts with you. Uh, it starts in your mind. Uh, it starts in your mind. Uh, if you start thinking, uh, hallelujah, uh, that I'm the head uh, and not to tell. You start thinking about what God has for your life. Start thinking about the blessings of God. Start thinking about the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Start thinking about God is good. And his mercy uh, endureth uh, unto all generations. Uh, my friend, uh, but thee, but thanks be unto God, uh, which giveth us the victory uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, over the works of the enemy. Uh, you can have the victory. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Uh, you can have uh, the victory uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Christ of Nazareth. Uh, but thanks be unto God, uh, which giveth us the victory. Uh, See, so you want the victory? Uh, you got to plant it in your mind. Uh, it starts in your mind. Uh, it starts with you. Uh, you want to be a success in life? Uh, it starts with you. Uh, this ain't no mind science preaching. Uh, I rebuke the hand of the devil. Uh, no, I'm telling you uh, to turn that thing around. Uh, what the enemy uh, has told unto you. Uh, what the enemy uh, has planted in your mind. Uh, turn that thing around uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, turn it around. Uh, hmm, hmm, uh, and begin to say, I'm healed uh, according to the word of God. Uh, see, there are those out there today uh, that the enemy uh, said that you're going to die uh, with this particular a sickness in your life, huh? but you tell that devil huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? I heard an evangelist huh? on the radio huh? tell me huh? that I can be delivered, huh? I can be set free, huh? I can be healed. Huh? See, God is a God, huh? He's able to heal cancer, huh? He'll go down to the root of the cancer. Uh, and he'll pull it out uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, there are those uh, that the enemy uh, uh -huh, uh, said your mind is bad, uh, but he can go down in your mind uh, and bless your mind. Uh, see, my friend, I remember some years back, uh, I was having problems with my eyes. Uh, couldn't see real good. Uh, everything was getting blurred real fast. Uh, mm -hmm, uh, but God told me to begin to speak blessings uh, over my eyes. Uh, and I begin to speak the blessings of God uh, over my eyes. Uh, and I can still see. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I may not can see as good as you can see, huh? but my friend, huh, I can still see, huh? and that's a miracle huh? Huh? that came huh, from the hand of God. Huh? I can go back 
when I had a heart attack and I began to speak blessing to my heart. I said, God, I got the best heart that you ever gave any man in this world. Lord, heal my body. Hallelujah. And I'm still yet in the land of the living. Glory be to God. I'm speaking blessings over my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell my family that my son, he's a blessing. I tell him that baby... Uh, you are a blessing uh, in this world. Uh, tell my grandson. Uh, tell my grandfamily. Uh, tell them that they are blessings. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, my friend, uh, you are a blessing uh, to the world. Uh, but you got to speak it out. Uh, you got to tell the devil. Uh, you got to talk back to the devil. You know how it is when you talk back to your mom huh, and to your dad. Huh, you got to talk back to the devil. Huh, you got to begin to tell the devil. You can't have my mind. The Bible says, let this mind be in thee, which was also in Christ Jesus. And hallelujah, having a renewed mind means that I can achieve the ultimate within my life. I can achieve the blessings that God has designed it for my life to be. I can become the CEO. Uh, of the major corporation. Uh, I can even open up my own business uh, and because uh, of the blessings of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but my friend, uh, there, are so, there are so many jealous uh, individuals out there uh, and I'm not just talking about people uh, mm -hmm, uh, that are not saved. Uh, I'm talking about some of them. Uh, they call themselves saved, uh, but they got the spirit uh, of jealousy uh, even as Paul and Silas uh, jealousy uh, hadn't hit the camp. Uh, my friend, uh, when God begins to bless you, uh, even those uh, that have been around you for years, uh, even those uh, that have known you for a long time, uh, see the blessings uh, of God uh, coming on your life, uh, and they begin to start speaking curses uh, over you. Uh, I rebuke that uh, in, the, in the most shy, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and I called you the blessed of the Lord. Uh, I called you the blessed of God uh, in these last and in these evil days. I call you the, the success of God. You are the success of Almighty God. You are the key to the success in this life. And you can be a blessing to the nation. You can be a blessing to the world. You can be a blessing to your family. Start speaking blessings over your life. Start speaking the power of God over your life huh, in these lands huh, and in these evil days. Huh? How do you see yourself?